was a challenge and it was a little bit like um, like Marmite, because some people hated it. They were like, oh, you can't do that. You can't put vocals to sing wave. How dare you? And we still get comments like that on YouTube. I think sometimes. that the drive, the drive salad, 2001, know. 2011, yeah. isn't it, that track? Yeah. yeah, with those, like, the couple of, the, you know, the guy with dreads. Electric Youth. Yeah, Electric yeah. Youth. Yeah. yeah. But still, it was very male dominated and very few vocal. I mean, Simply was just starting when, when that sort of came out anyway. Which, by the way, we shall I tell them about the remixes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking for okay. This is a secret. Close the doors. <laughs> We've remixed the the soundtrack for Drive, basically. Oh, darling. And that's gonna come Ooh. out at some point. Ooh. But anyway, nice. we'll let you know more later. I was meant to do it. I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to buy it. Right. I couldn't listen to it. Too much stems. <laughs> I know it was a lot of stems. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> so that's something else that um, again we took that and in fact a lot of instrumentals <coughs> by Cliff Martinez and we we added vocals to it and we oh, wow. redid all the music as well. So that's going to be really cool when it comes out. But yeah, it was what you said. It was a challenge at the beginning. It was all very male dominated and very instrumental focused, and we tried to change that. And here we are. Yeah, and so what's your process? Because your sound, did you kind of come up with an actual sound for the voice that you wanted, or was it your natural voice? Because it's quite produced sound, your music, it's quite synth pop. It's quite, it's quite uh, girly, and you've been compared to Madonna. And it's quite produced. Yes. Yeah, so was, was, that, was that, yeah, yeah, it sounds quite so produced to me, yeah. It's, it's, actually, you know, it's kind of, is that kind of part of the sound that you're going for? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it is. So, I mean, I, I do feel like, um, it was also kind of organic, so it wasn't like us sitting down. It's like okay, we want to sound like this. It's kind of like everything, you know. We started off doing something a little bit more dancey, and then we got into kind of synthwave scene, and we wanted something to do something a little bit more darker. And like um, we got together with a few producers, and I feel like that really helped us shape the way as well. And I uh, find our own sound, especially with Obsidian, who's our Swedish producer, we work with a lot, and he helped us kind of. Um, Shape the sound and you know like um, yeah so uh, I don't yeah know, but always I, um, I think we always took 80s references always for vocals um, so yeah Madonna was the reference the big yeah reference. That's, that was kind of what I was wondering what you've been listening and, to to shape it and I'm upset. Not, it was a constructed sound or yeah. you've done it or if it was more natural thing I was just interested it in was that. a journey also to find what um, Nina was comfortable performing on stage as well, something that we found our identity and that took years. Yeah. We were exploring for years and you would hear our first sort of demos and stuff and it was more dancey, poppy, until we discovered Synthwave and we thought, okay, let's go that way. And you're, and you're, oh, that's interesting to know. So the, the lyrics too, I mean, how do you draw, and is it like the Depeche, I know that you're a really wide music fan, so you love Depeche Mode, you yeah. love kind of, you're quite, you've got quite a wide gamut, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, what, where do you go for your lyrics? Do you kind of ha do you have your like a lot of these guys say they've got eighties movies in their heads? Yeah, um, I mean yes for sure. Um, I usually go. I try to do kind of very uh, personal lyrics, so I'll go f on experiences, something that I've gone through. So a lot of the Sleepwalking, which is my first album that came out um, two years ago, was it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> most of the songs are like basically it's a personal journey. It's like you know me being bullied in high school, and uh, or like a breakup that I had to go through, which was really painful and things like that. So it's kind of like I try to keep it very personal. It could be like a nar narrative as well. So I'm really inspired by all the you know kind of horror movies I have watched. Like I'm a huge fan of John Carpenter movies, like The Thing and The Fog, and <laughs> like my, one of my favorite movies and things like that. So like, it could be like something inspired by it a little bit, or like some weird dreams that you have. I'm a big fan of David Lynch and like abstract stuff. So, but mainly, and most of the time, it's like something really personal and that, that's like close to my heart. And Just because I feel like it's more authentic when you're on stage. I mean, you're really interesting too because you're coming the other way to everybody else in Europe at the moment. I mean, you're, you're from Berlin and you're in London. Well, yes. You know, like half London is in Berlin, so. I know, it's, it's like everyone's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, but I mean, when I left uh, Berlin, that was like, um, quite a long time ago, it was like 16 years ago. And I feel like Berlin was a little bit of a different place than it is now. Like it's obviously super um, 
super trendy and, and it's such a big influence now. There's so many artists coming there. It's just such a cool place. I love it so much. But